CataractCoach.com, resident case 78. What needs work? What are your suggestions for improvement for this resident? Let's watch the case, unedited, start to finish. I'm showing you one and a half speed. So even then, it's pretty remarkable. For case number 78, I like it. Those are the paracentesis. Notice how little ink was used to help find that paracentesis. You can put that ink on the blade, and then it makes it easy. Here comes some probably phenylephrine, lidocaine, epinephrine, something like that. And here comes the viscoelastic. Nice fill, good fill, good pressure. I like how you check the pressure there. I put a little extra viscoelastic in. Nice, nice move. I like that idea. Now holding the eye, let's see the incision. And pretty good tunnel length. Nice, clean incision there. I like it, kind of single planed. And now time to make the rexus. Let's see the rexus. You can see the attending is squirting the eye. I'm not the attending for this case. And let's see the rexus. For case 78, pretty good. I like the pivoting. Pulling back there to keep it easy to grab. Wow, really, really nice technique here. You know, this new generation of young surgeons, let me tell you, growing up playing video games, there are studies that show, not in ophthalmology per se, but in other surgical fields, those who play video games actually are better at surgery. That hand-eye coordination really is better. Looks like a pretty good rexus, maybe five millimeters or so, hydro dissection, one meridian going the other side, getting it to rotate already. Wow, fantastic. So if one and a half speed is five minutes, 46 seconds, looks like the no, full speed is probably like eight and a half, nine minutes. That's fantastic. Now, not about speed. Your K78, honestly, one of my best pros for you is slow down. Slow down. Try to perfect every step. Take your time here. Let's see the technique here. Oh, horizontal chop at 78. I like it. Now, chop went partially through. That's okay. Trying to propagate it. You can do another chop. I like the draping, by the way. Eyes in good position and primary. Oh, good propagation. Got that fully separated. Now, being cautious, bringing that piece up with the chopper. I love how you're using both hands together in the eye. Really great coordination here. And I can see your tendon keeps squirting the eye. Wow, wow, wow. This is really fantastic. So this new generation, I'm telling you, we're going to have great surgeons in the future. And good thing, there's going to be a shortage of ophthalmologists and cataract surgeons. So this is really fantastic. So I'm glad you sent the video in. So we got some few pearls for you. My number one pearl actually is to slow it down. You're doing a great job, but savor every moment of the surgery. And ask yourself at every step, how can I perfect the step? And you're doing a pretty good job already. I really got to give you credit here. Um, if you hadn't said case 78, and again, you're totally anonymous, so you're not getting any, any credit here. But if you hadn't said case 78, I would have probably guessed more like 200. And so you're doing great. Far ahead of the curve here. Now, what do you do with this big piece? Yeah, bring it. You want it, Don't go to the edge of it. That's better, the meteor part of the nucleus. Remember, the nucleus is thicker in the center, thinner towards the equator of the lens. So I don't want to try buzzing to that lens equator because it's softer too, less density, and you may buzz through the piece. So I like that you went back to the apex of that quadrant, which is the center part of the nucleus, which is denser and thicker. Chopper in that safe position, very nice, coming out of the eye. You can see the, the overall size of that the incision now. The hydration of it looks pretty good. Pretty good. A little sweep there of the angles. I like that. Well, maybe someone's loading the lens for you. Oh, no. Cortex removal. So I'm not sure why you did the sweeping there with the BSS injection. I don't know if you really need that. Doing cortex removal, you can actually just get the, the flow cranked up a little higher, and you'll flow a lot of fluid through the eye. So remember, your aspiration flow rate in phaco is to bring the pieces of the nucleus towards you and keep things moving. But in cortex removal, it's also to flush things around the eye, and especially in viscoelastic removal, crank up that flow rate to like 50 or 60 cc's a minute to really flush out any viscoelastic. So good job here cleaning up the capsular bag. A little bit of wispy strand there. You can get that out. Pretty good. Even a little polishing on the undersurface of the capsule rim. Beautiful. Now let's see, viscoelastic going in the eye. There's the cohesive viscoelastic, getting the good fill of the capsule bag. And let's see the lens coming up here. So good, someone loaded the lens for you, or it's preloaded. And delivering that lens, getting it in the capsule bag. Looks good. Looks like a single piece monofocal acrylic lens. And using that uh, second instrument to get it in the bag. Good job. Another pearl here, if you rotate the lens a little bit as it goes in, it's sometimes easier to get underneath the eye wall than if you go to one side or the other. So right now your haptic is right under the incision, so it's a little bit harder to get underneath the eye wall optic. You definitely want to be able to go underneath optics to remove viscoelastic because once you do toric lenses, that's imperative. And so the hydration, good, not too aggressive. A little bit on the sides. 
And then look at that. Rex is overlaps pretty good. So maybe the Rex is a little bit smaller than five millimeters, maybe four point six seven eight, somewhere in that range. And then good incision. Let's see the hydration was enough. Checking the pressure. You may want to hydrate the roof of the incision just a little bit. There you go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And now checking the pressure. You can you you can use the cannula to touch the cornea instead of using your big finger there every time. So that may be a little easier. So now check in here. And let's see the end of the case here. What are you putting in there? Maybe antibiotic. And that's beautiful. Wow, you did a beautiful job. I want to congratulate you. Thank you for sending the video in. Keep up the good work and can't wait to see you operate more in the future. Thanks for watching.